With so many hair products on the market, I know it can feel overwhelming to decide what to buy. But in today's video, I'm showing you guys that two types of styling products and proper technique is all you really need for long lasting curls. So I think we are all on the same page that a good wash day starts in the shower. So of course, that's when I'm starting this video. My scalp was dirty, it was itchy, and it felt like it had a lot of buildup. So I'm gonna use this clarifying shampoo first. This is the Giovanni T3 Triple Treat and I finally finished it up. And this honestly will not be a repurchase because the clarification is just way too much for me. <laughs> I hope that's a word. Anyway, my hair feels like straw and honestly, I only used the shampoo in this video because I wanted to finish it up, but honestly, it wasn't really necessary. My scalp and hair did not feel clean like at all. So I decided to go in with a second um, shampoo and it was the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. And this one clarifies my hair without leaving it stripped. So obviously conditioning my hair is next and I went in with the Briogeo Don't Repair, Repair Deep Conditioning and whenever I use a deep conditioner I skip a regular conditioner because that step honestly kind of feels unnecessary. Let me know if you're also like this. But guys, I now understand the hype around this mask. This product is truly unmatched. It melts the tangles and it deeply, deeply moisturizes my hair. And after rinsing out the mask, I will apply a little bit of my leave-in conditioner. I'm using the TGIN Rose Water Leave-In Conditioner. And this step actually prevents my hair from drying out completely while I get ready and do my skincare routine and all that. And that also means that when I'm actually going to style my hair, I don't have to use a lot of water to sort of re-moisturize my hair, which again is one less step, meaning I am simplifying my wash and go. All right, so since I already have a little bit of the leave-in conditioner in my hair because I applied it in the shower, I don't have to use a lot of the leave-in conditioner at all. I have definitely mentioned this a couple of times already, but I'd like to think of my leave-in conditioners as sort of primers. I am priming my curls for a next step, which I will get into in a few minutes. But let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying this video so far. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's continue. I am only focusing on applying my leave-in conditioner, aka my primer, all over my hair. And doing this in sections is honestly the best thing. That way you can actually make sure that every strand gets primed or, you know, leave-in conditioner, if you will. You can see that I barely had to use water to sort of re-moisturize my hair. And that is possible because I moisturized my hair extra in the shower, like the leave-in conditioner part. I highly suggest you guys try that one out. So with this leave-in conditioner, I have properly primed my hair. I have properly made sure that my curls are one moisturized. And now I'm gonna move on to my second step, which is to make sure that I trap in the moisture as much as possible. And this step is really going to give me a long lasting curls. So I honestly really hope I have enough product for this particular wash and go. If not, I will switch to this product. Both are pretty heavier creams. As you can see, I don't really have a lot of product left at all. Sad, unfortunately. I'm gonna need to order some more or if the brand is watching this video, could you please send me a couple of this cream over to my house? You guys know I've been a loyal supporter for years. Anyway, I am going to grab 
a little bit of this cream. I'm just using this amount. I'm gonna start with this amount at least. And because I already primed my hair, my hair is not really dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of this heavier cream to seal in the moisture. Meaning I'm not going to completely moisturize my hair with this cream. It's just gonna help with the additional step to help me make sure that my hair is not just going to lose that moisture. Because my ends need the most, I'm gonna start by applying this cream on my ends first. My ends, the cream, contact. <laughs> So before I continue to give you guys more tips on long lasting curls, I wanted to show you the other leave-in conditioners and creams that I have. And honestly, if I pair them together, they will give me similar results to the TGIN and Eden Body Works combo. And because I know I the leave-in conditioner and the cream combo is the absolute best for my dry hair, it makes sense for me to have more of those types of products. So now I'm continuing to focus on sealing the moisture in my hair with the Eden Body Works cream. Okay, so luckily I did have enough of the Eden Body Works cream. As you can see, it is completely empty. I might just use up what is left just right there on the bottom. This is what I have. I might just put it in my hair because, you know, might as well. But this is actually going to be the... What I'm, what I'm about to show you is the last step of my curly hair routine or my styling routine and this step is actually going in with a brush to give me a definition now this step has nothing to do with moisture but everything to do with the way you want your hair to dry and how you want your curls to lay that is the last thing that i'm gonna do i could of course leave my hair like this nothing wrong with that but that just means that i'm gonna have quite flat curls here on the top of my head because i don't really have any movement whatsoever here my hair will be moisturized but it is going to be flat and that is what i don't want i want it to be voluminous on the top of my head i want to bring a little bit more definition over on this side i don't necessarily want to manipulate the volume right here i want to manipulate the definition right here so i'm just gonna grab a little bit of hair this one should be enough and i'm gonna go in with a, a brush to define my curls. And because I don't want volume here, I'm gonna hold the brush right here. If I wanted volume here, this is what I do. I would put the brush behind my curls and brush upwards. Oops. Look at the extra movement on the roots. I could of course do more and that is to brush upwards or even in the opposite direction and then let it um, fall you could see that extra movement on my roots that is going to give me a volume on my roots however if i don't want that volume on the roots i could just let it lay flat if i want the de definition on the ends this is what i would do i'm gonna just run i'll just hold my hair like this and then go with a brush curve the brush as much as possible and that's gonna give me definition only on my ends without volume at the roots unfortunately i have a permanent middle part but when i style my curls i want a side part so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this piece of hair and this is where it's a gap there's a gap right here and this is where i have my middle part so what i want to do is i want to close that gap as much as possible i think i also need to grab more hair but whatever so i want to close that gap as much as possible and then i'm gonna do the same technique that i just showed you right here to this section to style my curls giving me that extra definition and i do want as much volume as possible on my roots can you see those roots can you see that bounce on their roots and if i let my hair go you can still see that extra bumpiness right here that's exactly what i want because that is going to help my curls to not dry flat on my head and i have my last section right here 
Even though I just styled my hair like this, it is going to give me a little bit more volume, but as soon as my hair is 100% dry and I play with it a little bit, it is going to fall back in my permanent middle part, which is completely fine. If it does that, it's, it's gonna do that, but I at least will have a little bit more of volume right at the roots. And after a, a few hours, you guys definitely know how long this takes, my hair was completely, completely dry. And I wanted to show you guys the results in natural light. As you can see, my hair is properly moisturized, it is shiny, it is juicy, and it is also very defined. And this is what my hair looks like the next morning. My hair honestly still is a little bit flat and honestly throughout the week it's gonna get bigger and a little bit frizzier but I promise you guys with just these two products my curls will last me a whole entire week but very minimal refreshing and very minimal water. Just a little bit of a product and that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so 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 much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos from me and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye